So here's a video on how to disassemble and reassemble your alternator. Uh, this is for the 93RX7, and as you can see, the reason I use this one is I messed it up trying to take it apart myself, and uh, you guys will benefit from this. I ended up, we'll look over here real quick, uh, buying somebody else's polished one. So that's that's my new baby. This is bad baby, and uh, fortunately, it's pretty much stock, so you guys will. Uh, benefit from this. Um, first things first, you, you're going to be taking off the front pulley. Um, it's almost easier to do it with the um, belt on. So pretend pretend you just took it off. It's sitting right there. Um, so here you go. There are four small bolts here, and there are four bigger bolts out here. <laughs> These are pain in the ass, and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cheat. Take this apart real quick. I have it apart. All they do is they hold this plate on. So unless you have a reason for taking the front bearing, which you can't see it, but my finger's spinning that, unless you're going to take that off, you don't need to take these four off. I ended up, and you can see them, I stripped them, thought I totally jacked my thing up, and uh, no, didn't even need to do that. But... This thing's pretty worn out, and you'll see that shortly. So you take these four bolts off. They're going to be the long uh, ones that run up the side. And uh, before you get any further, really, you take those four off. And back here, let's, uh, here I'm going to empty it out so I can just set it up like this. Pretend, yours, pretend this one's still in all one piece. Um, you're going to have something like this sitting right here. There's a little baby cap. Yeah. <laughs> you have to remember which way this stuff goes. Um, one of the ways, there's a baby cap that sits on, uh, on, I think, this spot or this spot. It doesn't look like it's going to come off. You pop that open, and you've got a screw and a nut that you can take off. And this guy actually does come off. So if it doesn't feel like it is, first of all, make sure you pop that cap off. And uh, then both of those come off. So you'll see those two right there. Um, there's nothing else of really interest on the back side. Okay. So, when you take off the front part, though, or those first four, put it back together, um, this really, the really, it might feel weird, feel awkward, this will come off and you'll be staring at the core. Uh, that's the name I'm giving it. It's my video, so that's the core. Um, if you sit there and go, hey, that's pretty cool, you're not doing too much damage. If you go to pull it out, What's going to happen, I'll pull it out, oh, nothing happened because mine's already out. What's going to happen is those two, there you go, those two little uh, spring-loaded things, we'll do this, fat finger, see that? That's a pain in the ass if you don't know what you're doing. I stared at this thing for about 30 minutes trying to figure out how this would go back in there. I knew it would. Um... Here's the trick. See that little hole right there? Well, oh, fingers all greasy. See that little hole right there? Take like a paper clip or something you know strong like that. Straighten it out, and sure enough, force it in there. Now you're gonna have to push these things down, down pretty far. It's even past that point where you think uh, that guy gave me wrong instructions. It's past that point. You have to push them way the hell down in there, and. Uh, It'll actually, the paper clip will ride over them once you've pushed them in. So, um, that's the biggest pain in the ass to reinstalling it, because if you don't do that, there you go. It sits on top of that. Um, depending on uh, how lucky or unlucky, it doesn't really matter, you get, see that? That's the real rear bearing. Um, it might come out with you, might not, depends. Um... Uh, the other thing is, the last part, which most of you guys aren't going to have to really deal with unless you're going to polish it or uh, get crazy with it, is there are one, two, and then a third bolt, which is oddly, here I'll put it in the light, third bolt hidden under there. The best practice is to gently, because it's copper, but it'll work, gently peel this up. Mine's actually connected, so this is exactly what you would do. Lift this up and twist it a little bit. Um, I'm doing this one-handed. You should do it with two. Um, and there you go. You can get that with a uh, Phillips screwdriver. Those are the three bolts. And this whole assembly 
permitted that you've taken that off, will pop out. And, you know, you can clean up the metal. It doesn't really uh, inter influence your uh, performance. But that will allow you to take these, this front housing and this rear housing out and polish it. So that's the, the alternator in a nutshell, both disassembly and reassembly. Uh, if you guys have any questions, hit me up on the forums or, you know, subscribe and then make fun of me on YouTube.